Heavenly Father, we thank you. As your children are gathered here today, they've come, choose their prayer line, right here at the Deliverance Center, by the special grace of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for your love. Let your love exceedingly bind us together. And may your love cast away all shame, all barrenness, all sickness. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Today's reading, we're going to take from Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Everything is its time. Today is your time for deliverance. Hallelujah. You came from very far because you saw someone on TV being delivered. And you said, no, I also want to meet the man of God. <sighs> if others are receiving this deliverance, let me also receive my portion. That's why you are here today. I've got news for you. Jesus Christ loves you. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. By the time you leave the deliverance center, your life will never be the same. But God said, I must teach you about seasons and times. Today is time for your deliverance. Yesterday was time for pain. Today is time that you live here rejoicing in Jesus' mighty name. We're going to read from Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1 to verse 8. Thank you, Lord. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1, it reads, to everything there is a season, a time, and for every purpose under heaven. Verse 2, a time to be born and time to die. You can stop there. Can you imagine there is a time to be born? Nguva yoku zharwa, inguva yoku ruwadza kuna amai. Nguva yoku zharwa, inguva yoku ruwadza kuna amai. A time to be born. It's time for a woman to go into labor. And that is not an easy time. The time to be born is very difficult for the mother. Yet the time to die is so difficult for the husband. My son, my daughter is dead. You understand? So these seasons in time, they must come to you. Suffering will come to you. It only comes because God has allowed it to happen in God's time. When you were born, it was season to be born. When persecution comes, it is season for persecution. But Jesus Christ says, you will overcome through the blood of the Lamb. So do not worry when you go through trials and tribulation. Because times shall come. But Jesus Christ is the Lion of the tribe of Judah. You will prevail in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. You are here today to prevail during the time to be born. You are here to prevail during the time of death. You are here to prevail during any season that the devil can try and put before you. Ask Job. Job akatambura nguva yakareba. Asipa kutambura kake mwari akazvubvumira kuti Job achakunda. Today you are here. God has given us the gift of the revelation water. It is a gift from Jesus Christ. Just a drop is enough to separate you from the yoke of bondage, from the yoke of death, from the yoke of being born. In Jesus' mighty name, continue. A time to plant and a time to pluck what is planted. Verse 3, a time to kill and time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. Verse 4, a time to weep and time to laugh. A time to mourn and time to dance. Verse 5. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. Verse 6. A time to gain and a time to lose. You can stop there. Hallelujah. Yes. You have been losing in your life. You have been losing in your life. You are losing in your life. You are losing in your life. You are asking myself, ha, this is my season. Everything I'm holding, I'm losing. I'm losing. I'm losing. I'm losing. I'm losing. I'm losing. I'm losing my finances. I'm losing my health. I'm losing my accommodation. I'm losing my breakthrough. But God has a new word for you. There is a time to gain once more. Amen. Once you meet the lion of the tribe of Judah, your season will change. Your time to gain again has come in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. 
So I want to encourage you, by the time you live here today, your time to gain has come again. Hallelujah. Nguma yenyu, yokusumuka, bayi kapano, ya tzoka foot in Jesus' mighty name. Because your time for loss ends today in Jesus' mighty name. By the time you leave the auditorium, the arena of love, whatever was holding your breakthrough, today it will confess that no, 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 no. I don't want to be part of this revelation water. I don't want, I don't want, I don't want because your time to gain has come again in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Seven. A time to keep and a time to throw away. Mm. Verse seven. A time to tear, a time to sue, a time to keep silent, and a time to speak. Verse 8. Time to love, and time to hurt. Time of war, and time of peace. Thank you, Jesus. So this, this ends a time of war, and a time for peace. The arena of love, once you enter here, it is time for war. Because it is not time for peace. Once you are in the arena, it's war. By the time we say you are free, then it is time for peace. Amen. So whenever you come, I'm always asking you, are you ready? Did you come prepared for war? Because here, we are not doing jokes here. We are serious about your deliverance. We will make sure that overseer love will attack. General will attack. Colonel will attack. Every ministry worker is here to make sure that by the time you leave, you are 100% delivered in Jesus' mighty name. What is your situation? The devil has been holding your breakthrough. That ends today. Apana shortcut. So when you come to the arena, come with time. Viewers all over the world, if you are just joining us, there is season and times for everything. Today, these that we have come to the arena, it is time for all. By the time Jesus says you are free, then it's time for peace in your life again. Hallelujah. The revelation water is a gift from Jesus Christ because it is a weapon with the anointing of Jesus Christ to, to break the yoke of bondage in Jesus' mighty name. In the Satan at Tombo, Munzwire City, we are coming with a new word. By the time you live here, you are delivered 100%. Your job in South Africa is settled. Your husband is settled. Your finances are settled. Whatever breakthrough you are looking for, in Jesus' mighty name, Jesus is the giver. He is the rewarder of those that seek him diligently. Hallelujah. So, I want to invite those that are watching me from home, and I want to give you this word. Tap into the anointing of Jesus Christ. As you continue to minister with us, Jesus Christ will set you free. In Jesus' mighty name, thank you, Lord. <laughs> 